Hey Aquarius and welcome back to Unicorn Channel for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of March 14th through March 20th and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also Aquarius, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm. I usually only take one card for the main energy for the read, so I'm going to take the Five of Swords because the King of Swords, that's your energy to me as a reader. I don't assign gender to my cards, okay? So, Aquarius, the main energy for your reading this week is the Five of Swords. Somebody here doesn't trust the situation, and I feel like that somebody is you. You definitely have a desire in mind. You have a trajectory of where you want to go, what you want to do, with which path you want to take. Um, both internally and within a connection, because there's definitely a connection showing up here for you. But you're showing me, I don't trust this. Uh, I don't know if what I feel, what I think is the actual reality of the situation, or if I'm just imposing my own thoughts, my own desires, my own beliefs onto this. So in the recent past, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of progress being made here within yourself. Now, it's coming about as a result of you having feelings, having love for somebody else, but I see an immense amount of growth taking place here for you. A lot of love for yourself, a lot of nurturing for yourself, a lot of focus on yourself. And kind of like in the background, we've got this other energy that you want to express your feeling towards, that you want to move towards. But I don't know if you're necessarily going to move towards them, and here's why. In the current situation, you get the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups. Lots of cups here, all right? You definitely want to have a brand new beginning with somebody that you've got history with, okay? I feel like the desire to reconcile is definitely here, but the desire is not just like, I want you back. It's like, I want you back, but I want to start over. I want to get back to that point at the beginning when there was love, when there was happiness, when we enjoy each other's company. But in order to get to that, there's still some energy from the past, from a specific event in the past, or just something that took place in the past between you and this person, which you're still holding on to, which is accompanying this energy of yours of, I want to start over, I want to have this new beginning with you. So we'll see exactly what this is about. Now, in the near future, you get the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Death Rebirth. Lots and lots of healing, lots and lots of taking love and pouring it into yourself and focusing on yourself. And this is coming about as a result of possibly something coming back together because the death rebirth card is all about something that died out at some point but resurrecting itself, coming back. And so I feel like with whatever this energy is that's coming back in the near future, it brings with it a lot of healing and a lot of you just realizing like how much you care about yourself, how much love you have for yourself. And it's in the same row as the Queen of Pentacles. So that doesn't surprise me. But let's clarify. Let's see. I want to see what this Five of Swords is for you, which is the main energy for your reading this week. Five of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. You're telling yourself here, I've let go, I've walked away, I've detached. This person, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or just somebody that has a very fiery personality. Um, and also very attractive, like I caramba hot tamale type of energy. And again, I don't assign gender to my cards. You're telling yourself, I've let go of this, I'm not holding on to this, I've completely emotionally detached from this, I'm good. Like, I don't even, this person is a speck in my rearview mirror. Now, if I just saw this, I'd be like, yeah, I believe you. I totally believe you, Aquarius. But the Five of Swords is here giving you away and letting me know that you may be telling yourself this, but I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Let's take a look at the Queen of Pentacles in your recent past. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. You're very confused, very much in a state of overthinking and catastrophizing. I see worst case scenario written all over this, where you're looking at the situation, you're looking at your situation in the recent past, and you're like, what do I do? Which action should I take? What should I, you know, have happen here? Um, but what's interesting is you are coming from a place of Despite all this overthinking, despite all this overanalyzing, you're still moving in the direction slowly, very slowly, 
of gaining your independence. And so even though you're very much overthinking here, there's a lot of like you replaying a scenario over and over in your head or replaying different scenarios as to how they would play out. Like I said this, they said this, I could have said this, they could have said this. You're still moving slowly towards your independence, towards your stability, towards an energy of you being able to stand on your own two feet and having everything that you need within yourself outside of this connection or outside of the connection that you shared with somebody. Let's take a look at the Knight of Pentacles for you in the recent past. The Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Judgment, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords. You definitely are slowly moving towards emotional balance. Like I said before, towards your stability, towards realizing that you have everything that you need within yourself. That emotional balance, that emotional stability that you desire, it's already within you. Thing is, though, because you are an air sign, you like things to happen very, very quickly. You're like, I want this. I want it yesterday. And what you're showing me here is I'm moving too slowly, which is to me, I'm not moving at all. I'm not making any progress. But you are. You just don't realize that you're making progress. And so this is why you may be having this whole overthinking scenario, because you're like, why am I not moving? Why am I not progressing? Why do I feel stuck? You're not stuck. You're just moving very, very slowly. But because I didn't ask the question, Spirit, because you are an air sign and you want things to happen quickly, you're telling yourself, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. I need to like, I need to move faster. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the recent past. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Three of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Two of Swords. There's definitely a connection showing up here for you, and you definitely have emotions involved in this connection. Now, what I see you doing about them absolutely nothing you're just waiting it's like you're looking at these emotions from afar see these ships on the card this is you excuse me right here and these are your emotions and you're just kind of like eh, maybe i should do something maybe i should you know wait on the dock for them maybe i should you know send a signal and eh, you know i'm just i'm just gonna wait let me look at my clock a little bit more so or my pocket watch whatever that thing is um but the reason you're doing that is not because you don't have the desire to take action it's because you don't know what you should do again the mind the two of swords is showing up here letting me know i'm confused i don't know what to do i'm thinking of the future and i'm playing out all the scenarios how i think they could they could you know happen and i don't like the way any of them are turning out so i'm just not going to do anything with this your mind is definitely very active in the recent past Let's take a look at your current situation. I want to see what the Ace of Cups is for you in the current situation. Ace of Cups is clarified by, there you are, the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Star. There's definitely a desire to have a brand new beginning here. But then you also have your internal voice, your internal dialogue coming into play and making a muck of things. To me, the Hierophant is all about beliefs that you hold within you. These are beliefs like, I'm worthy of love. I am capable of getting anything I want. I am powerful. I am successful. There could also be limiting beliefs like, you know, anything that I want never comes to fruition or anytime I put my effort into something, it never works out. And so what I see here is two things battling it out. Your beliefs that you carry within you, which may be outdated, and this desire to have a new beginning in love. And you keep bouncing. You're showing me that you keep bouncing back and forth, which is letting me know that your beliefs or your internal dialogue is deterring you from acting based on how you feel and basically telling you, no, no, Aquarius, come on. Let's stay here. Let's stay where it's safe, right? We've been doing things this way for so long. Why mess with it? Why, you know, why put yourself out there? Emotionally speaking, of course. Let's take a look at the Three of Cups in your current situation. Three of Cups is clarified by the King of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Again, same scenario. You want to bring this back together. You want to have a new beginning within this connection. And then your mind comes in and it's like, but Aquarius, look at all the pain that you could experience. Look at all the, the hurt and the disappointment and the painful endings that you could experience. Now, it could be that at some point, this person really did hurt you. I do see a painful ending here, but it's almost like you're showing me, okay, I've overcome that and now I want this connection back. I want to rekindle this and your mind is coming in and it's like, but remember all that? Remember how they hurt you? Remember the, the difficult energies that you felt when this came to an end? 
And again, you're like, oh, you know, you're right, mind. The mind is really coming in. And your mind, especially because you are an air sign, is very, very powerful. Let's take a look at the Five of Cups for you in the current situation. Five of Cups is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Tower, the Four of Wands. There was a conflict. There was something that happened between you and this person in the past, which you haven't let go of, okay? It's definitely tied up to this connection, and I feel like whatever happened was really, it, it's kind of like very destabilizing for you. You didn't expect this from this person. This conflict or the way this came about, whatever took place, I don't know exactly what took place. All I see is there's a disagreement, there's conflict, and it was painful for you in the past. But you're not showing me much more beyond that. But either way, I feel like it also came out of nowhere. Like you didn't expect this from this person. You didn't expect them to behave this way or say this thing or, you know, for things to unfold this way because you're showing me this was a very strong connection. This was a very strong bond. And so what took place was very unexpected for me. And it kind of like destabilized my, my faith uh, in this connection or in whatever this was, right? It could be a relationship, a connection, etc. Let's take a look at your near future. I want to see what the Queen of Cups is for you in the near future. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, which you get in the same row in the recent past. So again, you're waiting. You are waiting for things to work out in the way you expect them to, for you, in the way that you want them to unfold, okay? And it definitely has to do with love, somebody or something that you have a lot of love for. But again, you're not taking any action. It's like you're telling me, I want things to work out, but I'm not doing anything about it quite yet. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to focus on myself. And if they're meant to work out, they're going to work out. And if not, so be it. I still have me. Which is fine. This is a very confident energy. But the desire to have things work out, the desire to work on things, to have things unfold the way you want them to, that hasn't gone anywhere. It's just your, your focus um, has shifted from the situation onto yourself. Let's take a look at the Four of Swords in the near future. Four of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. You got the Knight of Pentacles, I think, yeah, in the recent past in the exact same row. So you're, show, you're having the same energy show up again in the near future. There's a lot of resistance here to you healing, to you balancing something out. And I don't feel like it's you healing internally. I feel like it's you healing the rift, the difficult energy situation, whatever took place between you and this other person, okay? I don't know why you're resisting it. I don't know why you, you're so resistant to moving in that direction towards healing it and balancing everything out. But you're just showing me like, I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, I'm, I, I really don't want to. Let's take a look at the death rebirth for you in the near future. Love it. Love it. The death rebirth is clarified by the sun, the page of cups, and the ace of cups. You got the ace of cups in the current situation, tied up to you having this internal belief, this internal dialogue, something pertaining to love where you wanted this new beginning in love, but then your limiting beliefs or your internal beliefs came in and was like, ah, oh, what are you doing, Aquarius? In the near future, I feel like those limiting beliefs, those outdated beliefs that you may have carried at some point in the past are gone. And what they're replaced with is love, an open heart. And it's not love from somebody else, although I do see love coming in here for you, like a brand new beginning in love. But you being open, you not letting your mind take control of everything, and you're coming from a very open heart space. And what that does for you, Aquarius, is make you very happy. The sun is literally the happiest card in the deck. And you get the death rebirth here for a reason. This is the death of the old you and you coming back like an, a phoenix from the ashes, rising. There's a big rebirth happening for you, for your higher self, not for your 3D world self. Your higher self is experiencing this rebirth. This is a beautiful energy. This is very beautiful. Um, let's, okay. Of course, it's three cards. Spirit's never wrong. From the universe, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Once you are able to release what you're holding on to very tightly, these limiting beliefs, these internal beliefs, which haven't served you for quite some time because they are showing up as outdated, once you are able to release that, it's almost like you gain a sense of clarity, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of 
just feeling good feeling successful like i was able to overcome this difficult part of myself which i never thought i was i would be able to release which i never thought i'd be able to free myself from <coughs> excuse me aquarius let's close off your reading with an oracle card from the universe New moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. I feel like this is talking more to yourself, where it's a time for you to give to yourself rather than try to demand from yourself. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope this helped and I'll see you next week. Bye Aquarius.